At, uh, game 200, what's the overriding emotion of, of the week? Um, it's been um, an interesting week given we're not sure where we were going to play until a couple of days ago and then once we knew we were in Tasmania it was really focusing on getting down there and a good opportunity for our young group to get a win in Tasmania. For me, 200 games is a great chance for me to acknowledge all the people that have been a part of getting me this far. I never thought I'd, um, I'd, I'd be able to last this long with my body and mind, but really grateful for that and looking forward to playing a few more games still to come. You've spoken openly about your struggles with concussion. Was there ever a point where you thought 200 might be out of reach? At different stages across the journey with major surgeries and concussion, it does creep into your mind, but overwhelmingly I've had uh, really good medical teams around me and good advice, knew with good preparation I'd always be able to string together um, a significant amount of games and yeah 200 is a nice little milestone. How's the shoulder? It's um, as good as it can be, uh, there's a little bit of looseness there but I got through last week's game and hopefully week on week it's going to improve. Do you sense something like particularly 200 games now playing through the older generation of Rio, this is the second incarnation of the young kids, do you sense the excitement amongst the playing group and how well set up the club is now? Yeah, I do. I know there's some external hype about our club and there deserves to be, I think. We're an immature team still losing games that we probably should win, um, but our best is good enough and we've got some key pillars in our coaching department and our playing group, which I think you're right, we can get back to playing significant finals footy in the coming years. Just on the shoulder, Nat, how, how much pain are you playing, playing with? Uh, not too much. Is it something you'll eventually get surgery on, like once the season's all done dusted? Most or? likely. Like a number of players, there's some instability in joints and at the end of the year, um, there's an opportunity to tighten that up. But you're not, in game, it's not limited to you in any way, like the way you mark or contest or anything like that? Uh, not really, no. Going through the season, obviously, there's a chance still with a few games in, in Earth to come up. But how driven and excited is this group, particularly after the slip up last week to go home and finals are still in contention? Yeah, finals are still live. We've got to take care of business week on week. Um, with the uncertainty of where we're playing, where we get home games, it's really hard to try and forecast through to the end of the year. I mean, it'd be great for this group to be able to have the chance to play some finals footy. But at the moment, it's Tasmania against the Hawks. We're looking to rebound from three quarters of good footy last week. We let ourselves down in the end. Um, but this weekend is all we're focused on. Your own form throughout the years, um, club released. Uh, Video this week of this, you keep throwing yourself around in this first game. Not much has changed, you've bugged up a little bit more. The combative nature of the way that you play, is that something that you've prided yourself on the whole way through? Early days, particularly once I got a bit bigger and stronger, I wanted to be that competitive beast, that combative attacking inside player. And as I've gotten older, I've tried to become more efficient and smarter the way I go about it, a bit like a Scott Pendlebury type player, but it hasn't really come to life for me. I find myself Still this year I've had a concussion, um, a loose shoulder and a number of other little niggles. So my game is my game. I think it makes sense just to stick to your strengths. So just with, that, with, the, with your strengths being in the matter inside land, the way that the game's evolved over the last 10 years, what's the biggest change you've had to make for yourself? Um, I mean, the biggest evolution in my game has come from a new coach, teaching us a different style of play. Um, from Ross to JL, there's been differences which have helped my, me evolve my football. Um, but mostly it's about picking and choosing your moments to be able to put yourself into carnage. When you look back at the 200 net, like what sticks out as the best moment? I, I assume the year you, you made the grand final would have been up there, but is there a game or anything that particularly sticks out for you? Oh, there's a number, mate. Debut game, first real finals push in 2013. 2015, we won nine or ten in a row at the start and I had a great year. Um, and some later leadership games where I've sort of evolved as a leader working with some younger players, having David Mundy alongside me. There's lots of smiles throughout the 200 games. Just speaking about, I guess, the evolution as, as you do get older, do like, you think you'll have to change? We see guys like, like a Paddy Dangerfield play a lot more forward to probably put on his career. Is that something you might have to look at going down the track? Possibly. I'm not a great forward. Um, and I feel like my best footy's in the midfield. I can pinch hit there, but um, I'll keep playing to my strength for as long as I can and work within team balance. We've got some genuine guns coming through in our midfield. My job will 
happy to help nurture and mentor them through, but um, I've got no intention of winding off or winding down for the back end of my career. You've spoken about your physical evolution from young Nat Fife to now. What about the mental evolution? Is that something you pride yourself on? Definitely. Um, the game demands a lot. Um, and staying motivated for 200 games or 12 years is as big a challenge as any. Um, so the evolution of me as a leader, my awareness, my understanding of preparation and performance um, is certainly not a finished product, but it's something that um, I'm quite grateful for having good leadership and mentors to get me to this point and look forward to what the next four or five years develops. Into. Has it been a standout person of influence for you in the AFL? Oh, there's a lot that I've had. You know, Brett Kirk, Ross Lyon, Matthew Pavlich, David Mundy. Um, I've had access to some really powerful leaders in football and in life. You spoke about Ross, I think, came out and said you deserve to be a premiership captain. <laughs> um, it's kind of him. I'm not sure that, what that earns you, but I mean, it must be, it, it must be nice to him to say, obviously, shows. He holds you as in higher regard as you hold him. Absolutely, yeah.